Hello, everybody. Morning. Morning. How's everybody doing? All right. Um, so I'm going to mute. If you can mute yourself, I'll see if I can just mute everyone simultaneously. Hold on. There's some people coming in and joining. Uh, If you're joining the group, maybe you could see if you can mute your um, Zoom. There's a little mute button on the bottom left hand corner of the screen. You come in. Did you? I don't know if the ladies doing it can see. <laughs> no, 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 no. I can't see you, no, and I'm, I'm hoping that you're all going to be on mute. Hang on, no, I can do it like this. Mute. So you could hear her. Because this way, if I mute you all, you can talk and you won't be disturbing everybody else. I'm also going to take your videos off. So a few of you still got stop video. Okay. Thanks for waiting while I just let everybody in and welcome everyone who's coming. It is, this technology is the big challenge, isn't it? I think we've done it. Okay. Let's put you on the screen. I think we've done it. I think everybody's muted. Oh, here comes some more people. Welcome, 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 welcome. Okay. I think we're all good. Oh, I have never taught this many people, certainly in a Zoom class before, so I'm really um, thrilled to be here. Oh, here comes another one. Uh, welcome. Oh, and another one. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. So I will stop admitting people in a minute so that it's not disturbing our practice. But anyway, good morning. It's Monday morning. I'm so pleased to see you all, almost see you all. Um, and I hope that everyone is feeling well and fine and fit and healthy today. So I'm um, Monday, we're gonna be doing a little bit of breath work. And uh, the breath work practices are really entry level, uh, basic, simple, so don't worry, there's absolutely no way you can do any of these practices wrong. And if it feels uncomfortable and you're not enjoying it, you of course, I can't even see you, let alone hear you. So you just come away from the screen, take some time out, come back to it if you want to, or just abandon ship if it's not suiting you. So 
there's no pressure at this point okay we're going to be meeting every morning at 8 a.m for 20 minutes um tomorrow i'm going to do try and do a bit of yoga so that's going to have its own technological um challenges you might have to give me a little bit of patience and leeway while i work out how best to do that um and then wednesday we'll do some meditation thursday we're going to do some yoga again and then friday i think i'll probably do more breath work with a bit of koya so that's the, the rough idea. And, and the reason that I, I love a 20 minute practice is because I teach something called well-being rituals. A, a well-being ritual is a, a unique 20 minute practice that you design for yourself and you um, get in the habit of practicing it every day. The point being that it doesn't need to be complicated. It doesn't need to be long. It's super simple, but uh, repetition is the key. So um, the drip drip effect of doing something little and often is in fact way more powerful than going and doing a huge workout for an hour and a half and then doing nothing for the rest of the week. Um, and really the essence of a well-being ritual is to create a regular space to connect inwards and become more attuned to how you're really feeling inside and, um, and tuning into that internal landscape that can get uh, rather blasted out of the picture by all these external sensory messages that are distracting us all the time. So it's just a 20 minute session to tune in is basically what a well-being ritual is. So let's get started. I hope everyone can see me okay. We are going to start with a little bit of movement to let our bodies feel comfortable. So bring your hands, however you're sitting, bring your hands onto your lap or your knee. You're welcome to sit in a chair. You can even be lying down flat on your back with your knees bent if that feels comfortable. The only thing that really matters about your physical positioning is that your spine is as straight as you comfortably can get it to be. Really, really key because so much of the messaging of the internal systems of the body move through the, the spine. So if you're hunched over, or in a, a compromised position spinally, then much less um, effective to do these practices. So get yourself comfortable. I'm fine if you're lying on the bed or on the sofa, wherever, with your spine straight. And let yourself take a nice deep breath in. And then a super deep breath out. And do that one more time. Deep breath in. And as you exhale, maybe exhale out of the mouth and let yourself become heavier. Feel yourself grounding. Deep breath in. And one last time out of the mouth, exhaling. Well done. So whichever part of you is connecting with the floor, whether that be the, the legs and the sitting bones, or if you're lying down, the whole of the base of you. Just feel that and, and press that down a little bit more into the floor so you feel like you've arrived, you've landed, and you've connected. Wonderful. And we'll start by doing some circles with the shoulders. So as you inhale, take the shoulders up towards your ears, roll them back and down. Inhale as they come up, and exhale as they go back and down. So it's ideal if you can be breathing in and out through the nose at this point, unless, of course, there's, um, your nose is blocked and it's hard to do so. And then slow those circles down for probably the first time in your, in your memory. You do have time, you do have space. So there's no rush. Just make those circles go slow, slow, slow. Maybe taking the elbows into circles. Inhale as they come up and exhale as they come down. And then maybe full arm extensions. If you're anything like me, there's a whole lot of creaking and clunking going on as you circle. Inhale, as you take your arms up high, you're going to interlink your fingers, press the palms up towards the sky, and just stretch up as high as you can, take a little wriggle, and then draw the shoulder blades down your back. And take 
a, a leaning over to one side, keeping the sitting bones grounded if you can, and over to the other side. And of course, if you're lying down, this is a little bit more awkward, but just do the wriggling that you can do. Your body's super clever. It knows what feels good and what doesn't. So respect that intelligence. And if something doesn't feel good, come out of it straight away. Okay, so from here, you're going to fold your elbows, holding onto either elbow, and then pull the arms back a little bit. So you're framing your face. And that allows you to come into your diaphragm. The diaphragm is a band of muscle that stretches along the base of the rib cage kind of dividing the uh, torso into two. So you have your, your heart and your lungs here and you have all your digestive capacity here. And as you take a deep breath like this, with the diaphragm being stretched, you're helping to increase the movement of the diaphragm as you breathe. So as you inhale, the diaphragm presses down, expanding the lung capacity, allowing you to breathe in more. And that pushes against the digestive system, the liver, the kidneys, all of that. And then as you exhale, the, the diaphragm comes up and presses into the lungs and presses up against the heart, increases pressure, so that you can exhale everything that needs to be exhaled. So this movement of the diaphragm keeps the digestive system going really super healthily. It keeps the heart going. It keeps the lungs going. It's really key. You want your diaphragm to be awake and active. Okay, brilliant. And then inhale, you're going to take your arms down to your side, bring just the left arm up and slide the right hand away as you lean over to the side, pushing the left sitting bone down into the floor. And again, if you're lying down, just make a crescent moon shape and see if you can breathe into the side here of your torso. Breathing through the nose. As you inhale, if you're sitting up, you might want to inhale and look up a little bit. And as you exhale, look down. So you really get a nice stretch through the side body, working with your breath. And then inhale, coming all the way up, swapping sides. So right hand is up, left hand slides away. And let the right arm come alongside your ear. As you exhale, you might want to look down towards the earth, and as you inhale, you might want to look up towards the sky. Gentle, pulsing movement with your breath. We're just starting to synchronize movement and breath so they can all flow together. Yoga means union, it's, it's union of all the elements. So breath and movement is where that starts. Okay, coming back up, hands on knees. One last stretch before we go into the breath practice. Bring the left arm up, take it across to the right knee, bring the right hand behind you and take a little twist to the side. If you're lying down, just take a little twist here if you can. You might want to bring your knees into your chest and just drop your knees to one side and that will give you a twist. And inhale, come back to center, swapping sides. And returning to center, well done. Okay, bring one hand to your heart, the other hand to your diaphragm. So this is the space just below the ribcage, it's the sternum, in fact. Take a nice inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. See if you can close your eyes and notice where the movement is as you breathe. And for some of us, especially if we're feeling nervous or in any way kind of agitated. The breath might be a lot more around the collar and the chest. If you're getting a full diaphragmatic breath, then you might feel the movement more around the sternum and the tummy. And with practice, we can learn to increase the breath down into the tummy rather than staying in the shallow waters of the, the collarbone. 
but where you are for now is perfect. This is a life journey. You don't need to be doing it perfectly on day one. What we're really doing now is tuning in to where the breath is in this moment. Changes moment to moment. And then with your eyelids still closed, notice for yourself, is it the inhale or is it the exhale that feels most comfortable for you? There's no right or wrong, we're just curious about where our breath is. And then noticing that at the end of the next inhale, there's a little pause. You can find a little pause where your lungs are full, just resting there for a moment before you then go into the next exhale and find a little pause at the end of the exhale. So this is called a four stage breath. And the four stages are the inhale, the hold, the exhale, and the hold. And with your eyes closed, you can bring your hands down if it's more comfortable for you. With your eyes closed, just, Chart for yourself which part of that four stage breath is most comfortable for you. Is it the inhale where the breath is filling the lungs? Is it the space where the lungs are full and you're suspended waiting? Just a little moment of surrender. Is it the exhale where the lungs are emptying? Or is it that space at the end of the exhale where you're pausing you're not yet going into the inhale, there's just this little wait, a moment of surrender, no act activity, before you then come into the inhale. These are the four stages. Which one feels best to you? And then we're going to do our breath practice, and this is the most classic breath practice that I know, it's called square breathing. And it is used, I know for a fact that it's used in, um, in corporations, it's used in the military, it's used in the police force. This is, you know, absolutely nothing new about this practice, but it doesn't need to be reinvented because it is everything that you need for harmonizing. Our bodies work in, in best when they're in harmony. Homeostasis is what we're working towards when we do any kind of holistic um, well-being practice and square breathing brings you into homeostasis it works with the nervous system it works with the respiratory system and that just has ripple effect on every system of the body so square breathing is um, a breath and visual a visualization practice you are going to imagine a square on the front of your body let's go from the right hand hip and as you inhale you can almost imagine lights coming on, you know those Hollywood makeup um, uh, treatment room uh, images where you have those light bulbs around the edge of the mirror? Sometimes I picture that. So you inhale, the light bulbs go on as you go up. You hold with your lungs full, the light bulbs move across the chest. You exhale as the light bulbs go down towards the left hip. And then you hold as you move across the pelvis, light bulbs going on. So inhale, hold, exhale, hold. I'm gonna count for you. We're gonna do a count of four. If that's too long, then do your own count. When you practice this at home, which I really hope you will, then you can change that count, but just make sure all, all of the four sides are the same. So it could be six, 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 or eight, 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 eight. But for today, we're gonna to do four, okay? So let's begin by taking a super deep exhale. All the breath is through the nose. Inhaling one, two, three, four. 
hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Hold. 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 And then let your breath return to normal. Keep the eyelids down, notice how you feel. So whenever I do my wellbeing ritual, yeah, I do it every morning, I like to have a notepad and pen with me because I find that um, very often the clarity that comes from my practice gives me really good um, intuitive pointers onto what the day should hold or, or maybe some really huge decisions that I'm facing. So um, by all means, grab your, your notepad and your pen, write some notes down if anything has come up for you. and. Um, I hope that that was really helpful. So that was our first one. Tomorrow we're going to do a bit of yoga. If you found that helpful, please give me some feedback and let me know. If something didn't work, I'd love to hear about that too. Um, and uh, share with friends and family so that you can all come and meet together when we do our yoga practice tomorrow. And the next breathwork meditation will be on Wednesday. All right, so my website is sonialockyer.com. That's S-O-N-J-A-L-O-C-K-Y-E-R.com. Send your friends that way and see you again tomorrow morning. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.